Welcome under the dome, an amazing excursion to a world of new technology and the riddles of an ancient civilization. Listen. You see a tall scientist in a white lab coat, bathed in the dim lamplight. He almost appears to be hovering above the laboratory floor. The man turns at your footsteps. He's holding a paper clipboard and a pencil. His shimmering silver badge reads Sebastian Van Ulden. He glances from you to the glittering watch on his wrist. I want us to respect one another's time. Please speak loudly, clearly, and to the point. You must be the newcomer I was told about. Nice to meet you. Finished with his unusual greeting, he offers you his thin hand. The scientist puts the clipboard aside, raises his watch for a closer look, and sets the timer. He shows you his watch dial. According to the rules of this briefing, I have to touch on a large number of topics. Therefore, I will do so very briefly. Do not interrupt me. When I'm finished, I'll answer your questions. Within regulations, of course. Sebastian produces his handheld and clicks some buttons. I checked your scanner. It's working and is connected to the Minerva database. Everything you scan will earn you Kronos or Forefather's knowledge points. The instructor watches you with displeasure. Are you listening? Scan everything that might be of scientific interest. First of all, anomalies. They could be dangerous. Make sure to always have medication with you. He places a canvas pouch in your hand. This pouch is full of bolts. You can temporarily discharge an anomaly by throwing a bolt into it. It's primitive, but reliable. Van Olden pushes a button on his stopwatch. So, my oral briefing fell within the allotted span of time. Any questions you want to ask me? Sebastian snorts skeptically. Oh, great. You're even ignorant of the basics. Minerva is a mainframe located at Magellan Base, where you'll be going soon, by the way. The Minerva disk stores the database containing every piece of information about the Dome and the company's employees. It is thanks to this scanning that the database is constantly updated. Remember, Are you ready for the second part of the place. briefing, or do you have any more questions? Place. The instructor looks at his chronometer again. The white scowls in annoyance. Do you know anything at all? What did you come under the dome for anyway? You get knowledge points for scanning objects. For scanning anomalies and relics, you receive forefather points. Scanning the company's property and employees, living or dead, earns you Kronos knowledge points. He explains with a sagacious expression. You can exchange knowledge points for medication and equipment as part of the volunteer research program. Are you ready for the next part? The clock is ticking. The instructor taps his watch meaningfully. The scientist glances at his watch again. You're within the time limit for questions. The next step is training in the artificial eco-zone. He rests one finger on the button in preparation to start the timer. You're going to go downstairs and scan relics. I will be monitoring your progress. Please note there are several radioactive anomalies in the eco-zone. These are the same conditions you'll be working in in the field. Radioactive zones and relics are quite common under the dome. He smoothly extracts a jar of yellow pills from his pocket. Here's your Arad 3. And one more thing. Just a moment. Welcome under the dome, an amazing excursion to a world of new technology and the riddles of an ancient civilization. Listen to this information, useful for all wings, Attention. and receive a colorful leaflet. Please handle relics carefully. In case of damage, your life will be forfeit. Pans in Welcome the western the region behind an amazing excursion to a world of new technology and the riddles of an ancient civilization. Listen to this information, useful for all wings, and receive a colorful leaflet. Please stand by for decontamination to end.
welcome under the dome. An amazing excursion to a world of new technology and the riddles of an ancient civilization. The detailed plans are ready. Van Olden gestures back at the Ecozone. You haven't completed scanning everything yet. Finish the task first. A bolt at the end. Journal entry. A successful scanning attempt. You're doing all right so far. Go ahead. I'll keep an eye on you and make sure you don't screw it up. Van Olden gestures back. Sebastian meets you on the platform. Your finishing time is within the acceptable range. He clicks the stopwatch button, fixing the result time. The scientist turns back to his notes. Not bad. One question. You observed several anomalies while scanning. Why do you think they appeared? I'd like to hear your opinion. The scientist assumes a superior expression. I knew you'd come up with something like that. I see you understand nothing about the nature of anomalies. So let me add a couple of points. He glances at the shimmering blue light in the eco-zone. The truth is, we don't know the precise reason for these phenomenon either. We actually know nothing, no matter how much we try to convince ourselves otherwise. Sebastian points a thin finger at the clustered lightning. I personally believe that the anomalies are the dome's security mechanism. The ones you saw are relatively harmless, but there are different anomalies in the desert, phenomenon that toy with the human mind. 